spiritual communion during pandemic, COVID-19, abolition of the perpetual sacrifice, and the terrible day will come, say the scriptures, and it has already come, when the churches will be closed, as has happened in many countries of the world, for fear of the coronavirus, the punishment from the Lord. And without realizing it, little by little, the perpetual sacrifice of the Holy Mass is being abolished. There are new methods to distribute Holy Communion, which are a desecration of the Holy Eucharist. It is given in the hand, not in the mouth. For this reason, some Catholics, to avoid desecrating the Lord, prefer to stop receiving Him. Most priests wear a face mask at the altar, as if God would infect them, and so they have lost their faith. For some of us who acknowledge the real presence of Christ in the Holy Eucharist, it is imperative to receive Him on the tongue while kneeling. But this practice has been prohibited by bishops in many countries, so that we are forced to profane the body of Christ in the consecrated host. This is the reason why we must learn to make a spiritual communion, when for any reason we cannot receive the Holy Eucharist. I will share with you later in the video a vision that the Lord gave me about the spiritual communion. There is nothing greater than the Holy Eucharist, for it is God with us, truly present in the Church through the priesthood. But now that we take the opportunity to panic for fear of the coronavirus or COVID-19, instead of worshiping God more than ever, we are instructed to profane Christ by receiving Him in our hands. Or even worse, many churches are closed. It seems that we are making war on Christ, and not on the adversities that are presented to us. Because in the end, the Lord is paying for it. And so are we. What a terrible fear of losing the body, but there is no fear of losing the soul. What a panic over the death of a few thousand people by COVID-19, when more than 20,000 human beings die in their mother's wombs daily because of the crime of abortion. The blood of these innocent creatures is crying out for divine justice, and the Lord has heard their cry. We are receiving just punishments for our trespasses. This is a confirmation that we are already living in the apocalyptic times foretold by the prophets and also by our Lord Jesus Christ. Luke chapter 21 verse 11. There will be great earthquakes, famines, and pestilences in various places and fearful events and great signs from heaven. The seven bowels of God's wrath are already being felt. That is why we are suffering from global warming, catastrophes, tsunamis, earthquakes, epidemics, famines, wars, and many other evils that we really deserve. It is because man has turned away from God and continually defies him with his offenses. Revelation chapter 16, verse 1. And I heard the voice from the temple crying out to the seven angels, Go and pour out on the earth the seven bowls of the wrath of God. Why are we surprised by the coronavirus or COVID-19? We Catholics who received the faith from our fathers have nothing to fear, for we have Christ our Lord and Savior in our midst in the sacraments of the Church ready to forgive, ready to nourish our souls with His body and blood. 
but how sad, how it hurts to see the disinterest of so many Catholic pastors who are twisting the sound doctrine taught by the Church for 2,000 years. Yes, how it hurts to see the apostasy within the Church itself. Just as Jesus foretold in Luke chapter 18, verse 8, I tell you that God will indeed bring them justice and without delay. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? I always do my spiritual communion several times a day and at night when I wake up. It was about half past twelve one night. I asked the Lord to give me his body, blood, soul, and divinity in spiritual communion. The Lord answered me with this beautiful vision. I was on Calvary with my wife. Everything was very dark. The Lord was crucified. The Virgin Mary approached me, and I opened my hands to receive Holy Communion. She placed the little baby Jesus about six centimeters long, which I adored with great joy. Then she gave this same communion to my wife and to St. John, the apostle who was also there. My wife was troubled for a moment and said, but how is this? This cannot be free. Then I turned out with my face about 30 centimeters from the face of the crucified Jesus, who in the midst of his anguish had a smile for me and said to me in a low voice, yes, yes, it is free. What a beautiful spiritual communion. Now I want to share with you this message that the Lord gave me about spiritual communion. Message 904 given on November 30, 2018. In this message, Jesus says, My son, but he's addressing any soul who opens the heart. Jesus says, My son, so that you may always be with me, I want to teach you how to make a perfect spiritual communion to my liking. When you are at Holy Mass or before the Blessed Sacrament of the altar, remember that you are with me on Calvary. You are before me, your crucified Jesus. Likewise, wherever you are, you can recollect yourself at any time and make a perfect spiritual communion in this way. As you will always have me before you, with my heart open, so that you may enter into me, then lift up your soul fervently, and in the Spirit enter through that wound of my heart. Go through my whole body, take refuge in all my holy wounds, for they cover me completely, and remember that by my holy wounds all are healed. Enter into my precious blood, purify yourself, drink, quench your thirst, swim in it and drown yourself, so that you may die to the world and live only for me. Purify yourself in the water of my side, wash yourself in the water of grace, so that you may always have my favor. Enter into all my pains, through that abyss of my suffering, so that you may meditate and know how much I love you, and with how much pain I have achieved the salvation of souls. Enter into my tears, wash yourself with them, so that you may join them to your tears of repentance, and with them weep for this humanity so far from salvation. Enter into all the anguish of my soul, Console me by feeling the same anguish for souls. Suffer with me so that you may always find yourself united to my passion. With the passion of my love, love all your brothers and sisters. And in this way, uniting yourself to my passion, you will continually make a perfect spiritual communion with me. Prayer of Spiritual Communion Lord Jesus I acknowledge your presence in the sacraments of the Catholic Church through the priesthood, the Holy Mass, 
the Holy Eucharist, and the most holy sacrament of the altar. You have filled my soul with your body and blood in the Holy Eucharist. Now that I cannot receive you sacramentally, give me to eat of your body and drink of your precious blood. Fill my soul. You are a spirit. Give me your sacred humanity, broken in spirit and in truth. I come before your open heart. I stand before you, my Jesus, crucified for my sins. I recollect myself interiorly to raise my soul before you and unite it with yours. I lift up my soul fervently. Allow me to enter into your spirit through the wound of your pierced heart, to go through all your wounds and to find my refuge always in them. I kiss and adore your holy wounds. I adore you, my crucified Jesus, and I recognize that by your holy wounds we are all healed. I enter into your precious blood. Purify me. Let me drink it. Quench my thirst. Let me swim in it and drown myself to die to the world and to live only for you. Let me wash myself with the water of your side. Wash me with the water of all your body, the water of grace, so that you may always grant me your favor. Allow me to enter into your sorrows, to roam that unfathomable abyss of your suffering and mercy, to understand how much you love me and with how much pain you have achieved the salvation of souls. Allow me to enter into your tears, to wash and purify myself, to unite them to my tears of repentance and to those of your most holy mother, to weep with them for this humanity that is so far from salvation. Allow me to enter into all the anguish of your soul. I desire to console you by feeling this same anguish for souls. I want to suffer with you in order to remain always united to your passion. Allow me to love all my brothers and sisters with the passion of your love to remain united to you in continuous and perfect spiritual communion. Lord Jesus, I desire to remain always with you. Then crucify my soul to your heart with the nails of your love, your desires, and your will. Amen. In the description of this video, you will find links to learn more about spiritual communion. I ask you to subscribe to my channel, The Work of God, to tell you in many experiences that the Lord has given me, and to share with you beautiful spiritual reflections. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, share it on social media, and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. God bless you.